we are on the London Bridge. <laughs> and I am just amazed how clean, well, kind of. <laughs> and the metal bars they have on it. Yeah. And this uh, thing on it, I don't know what you call it, but it's nice. It's so yeah, cool. It's, really it's, right it's so cool. It's like all telling me that I could have seen Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts one and two here? I'm a little upset. We just got back and I am tired. Let me make sure that there's nothing crazy on my face. Okay. Anyways, we just got back. It was your last day. The only place that we didn't make it to was Kyoto Gardens, which I'm kind of sad about, but that is a-okay because I don't plan on this being my only trip to London because I loved it so much and I feel like I learned a lot on like how to travel in London and I just yeah it's it was a learning curve but it was so much fun being able to kind of just like take the tube every day um, and and the bus and just kind of see the city that way via public transportation so that was really cool. Um, today it started raining and I finally understand the term pissing it down. Like I have always understood it, but how it rains out here, it makes sense why they say it's pissing it down. Um, but yeah, we went to Covent Garden because I wanted to go to Kiki K for some stationery and I didn't exactly find exactly what I was looking for. And they had the U.S. prices and I was like, I'm not paying $40 for a planner when that's not what I paid for my, you know, la for last year's planner. So I was like, I'm just not going to do it. And it was like plain and simple, which is what I loved. And it was 18 pounds, but it, well, it was 24 pounds, but it was like close to $40. And I was just like, yeah, that ain't happening. And then after that, we... Went to the London Bridge, which is really cool to just be on and see. So that was really, really cool. And then after that, we went to Harrods and my grandma got herself some hot chocolate because she got she saw me get hot chocolate the first time that we were there. And she was like, this looks like it's good hot chocolate. And I was just like, I don't know. Harrods apparently has the best tea. So I'm assuming that they'll have the best hot chocolate. So that's why I got it. Didn't really look at the ingredients. Was just like, hot chocolate? I'm getting it. Because I feel like Brits know how to do Christmas right. Just with like their drinks and everything. Also when we were at Covent Garden at Kiki K, as we were leaving because I didn't see anything I liked, there's people from Bailey's handing out Bailey's hot chocolate. And I was like, you know, this seems sketchy. But I'm going to do it. And then I literally downed it. I downed it because it was free. And my grandma was like, you're crazy. And I was like, I probably am. I probably am. But it was seriously the best hot chocolate ever. Because it just finished raining. And I was a little cold. And the fact that I had some warm Bailey's hot chocolate. Mmm. Highly recommend, by the way. And then after that, I'm trying to think of what else we did. Went to Harrods. From Harrods, we went to Deshooms. Deshooms is like an Indian restaurant. Seriously, if you like Indian food or have ever considered it, it is the best Indian food. 
I haven't had that much Indian food. I think it was like my second or third time having Indian food. And I've grown up eating curry because my grandma, you know, makes curry because um, we're Panamanian and a lot of the foods that Panamanians have kind of play off of Caribbean food as well as Spanish food and Caribbean food tends to have some curries and stuff like that. And so um, I'm familiar with curries and we had this curry, we had lamb, we had the rice and the flatbread and everything. I don't really remember all the names of it, but Deshooms. I'll make sure it's linked on the screen for you guys to check out because if you're ever in London, I highly recommend. It was so flavorful. It was the best food I've ever had. Um, it was really, really good. And yeah, and then after that, we came back home because we leave tomorrow. And I ordered a car yesterday to come pick us up tomorrow morning at five o'clock in the morning so um yeah i think i'm just gonna end this whole kind of trip here i don't think i'm gonna do anything in the airport because airport stuff is usually boring i like to see it in other people's vlogs but honestly like it is kind of boring because it's like you you know you know what goes on in terms of getting to the airport getting on a plane and getting into the air on that plane and then landing it's the same thing <laughs> same thing every time so i am going to leave you here thank you so much for um tuning in to our little adventure here in london this is definitely not going to be my last time coming this place was amazing um highly highly recommend and yeah I think I'm also going to do a blog post on things I would have done differently and things that I did do that I really enjoyed and really liked about London. So yeah, um, I think that's it. That's all I have to say. Now I'm just talking. But anyways, see you guys later. Bye!